This is a um, first in, first out battery dispenser for AA batteries of the rechargeable type. Easy to make, it costs about a buck. All you need for tools is a uh, tin snips and some hot glue. Hot glue gun. I use one of these J channels, it's used in vinyl siding, it's available at your local um, home supply store. Hot glue. And of course, we got our J channel. We need about just a little over two feet of this for the 20, 20 batteries that I have in circulation. And you can make yours different, but I don't think you'd want to go much longer than that. You're going to cut it at uh, 12 inch length. I'm going to use the uh, battery itself to measure the width of the item. At about a quarter inch uh, free play. Okay, you mark it off, and then we have to cut it. Now we use another 12 inches up the other side. I just measured from 12 to 24 on there. Okay, we're going to cut it right where the marks are, both the front and back, but we do not want to cut this because we're just going to fold it. If you did cut it, you'd have to glue it back together. And likewise, if you have two 12-inch pieces, well, you can always glue that bottom piece on. It doesn't have to be folded, but I think it's easier. Okay, and I trim this off. You can experiment by not trimming it if you want. You'll see, that's where the battery comes out, so... The J-channel I use, I don't have any trouble with the battery staying in there. That's about how she's gonna look. Now this is where the battery comes out, and I have to cut a little uh, access hole right there. The battery can come out through the sides. As you can see, or you could if the guy running this uh, actually held it in the video picture, but you know how that is. There, see? There, you're cutting a notch there. We do one on the other side. It's hard to get good help these days. The cameraman worthless. Okay, there we go. That's where the battery's going to come out. We'll fold her up. See how it's going to look. There. And then, uh, you know, I glue it back together. First we got to plug in the hot glue gun. And the paper there to keep my work surface from getting covered with hot glue. It's my workbench there. My wife keeps trying to bake cookies on it. I don't know what's the matter with her. Okay. Let's just see how this works now. Well, see, my thumb, my finger's a little bit too uh, big there, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna trim that out a little bit wider. And an alternative method, you could instead of cutting those notches out, just fold them out, and then they would be the sides. You could trim them off, and you actually glue it to the to the front flap here, but I didn't, so it's too late now. I'm not gonna redo this video. Too much work as it is. 
It's just not enough time in the day. Okay, here we go. Of course, the actual time elapses. It's a little bit longer here because that hot glue doesn't heat up quite that quick. Right now, it's hot enough to um, glue the bottom piece on. Yeah, quick slam it together before it gets before it hardens. Okay, we're gonna glue this together. This will be our, our main glue joint here to hold the thing together. Hot glue, by the way, is the only thing I've found that will glue vinyl siding, um, or vinyl. Reliably, it seems to stick pretty good and, and, and pretty strong. Um, alternatively, you could use staples, I guess, if you don't trust hot glue. But you don't want your batteries falling all over the floor, that's for sure. And this is going to be hanging up on the wall. Okay, I'm gonna put this, this, the way I'm making this, it's made to hang over a half inch thick cupboard door. That, in our case, it encloses the electrical panel. And that's where we keep the batteries. I'm trim that down so it'll fit inside, and you'll see I'm gonna flip it around the other way so it'll hang over the door. If you wanted to hang it on the wall, you could just use a flat piece, straighten it out, or, or just trim the side down and put a hole in there and uh, hang it on a nail. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm going to trim this down because we've tried, we just noticed that the batteries hang up there. And, you know, trim that down, but I don't want to go all the way down because I do want the batteries to get slowed when they're on a large drop. And, like I said, we got 20 batteries in circulation. So, the weight of the battery is going to push it down toward the bottom, but, you know, your situation might be different. You might want to trim that a little bit more or else you could heat up the J channel a little bit. Okay, let's try her out here. It's looking okay, I guess. Yeah, they seat in there rather nicely. And that's what it looks like. Okay, have fun. Thanks for watching.